Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all how I stretch my wash and go in order to give it more shape, volume, and length. I am using clips to section my hair off because you want to use medium sized sections in order to get the best stretch as possible. I am using my blow dryer to assist me with stretching my hair and I am just holding the ends of my hair to ensure that I don't mess up the curl definition at the ends of my hair. And voila, as you all can see, I just gave my hair a little bit of extra length just by stretching it out with using my blow dryer and my curl definition is still there. I am one to repeat this process all over my head, but I'm always being mindful of how much heat I put at the roots because I don't want my hair to be too stretched out as the curl definition will disappear. As you can see, one side of my hair is complete and it has a good shape to it and my curl definition is still there. It is important to stretch your hair because you have different textures all over your head and sometimes wash and goes can make your hair look very uneven due to not stretching it out. Now here is what my hair looks like when I have stretched my entire head with my blow dryer. It looks really, really good. I actually use new products for this wash and go that you all will be seeing in the future um, on my Instagram page. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram. Of course, I can't keep my hands out of it because I really, really love the fluff, the volume, and the definition. And now for my nighttime routine. You all have seen me do this in another video, but I want to show you all again here on how I preserve my curls overnight to last for the week. I am simply using these scrunchy hair ties to basically band my hair. This is one to make sure that I keep the definitions at the end of my hair, but I am also making sure that my hair doesn't get super tangled and shrunken while I sleep overnight. So in this particular hairstyle, I did about six ponytails which is usually enough for me i use a scarf to tie around my edges and i will put a bonnet right on top to make sure that i can secure it overnight Here it is the next morning and it is time for me to style my hair for today. I am going to of course remove the bonnet and the scarf and now I am going to remove all of my scrunchy hair pieces or hair ties and I will fluff every single curl to my liking in order to give my hair that shape that it needs for today. Here's the final look. I was really, really amazed at how this wash and go held up, especially after I stretched my hair with the blow dryer as well as banded it. And to have all of this definition and shape and volume, I was super, super in love. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful. And of course, I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya.